Hey everyone, today I wanted to give a more comprehensive guide to the new tracking system in Albion Online. This is the latest update coming with the Wild Blood update that will introduce a new black zone activity where you roam around the areas hunting down powerful prey in order to gain drops for both potion crafting and crafting the new shapeshifter staffs. This system seems straightforward at a quick glance, but there are a few small details and notes I'd recommend watching the video to not miss, and I hope this guide prepares you for being able to properly utilize the system. In this guide, I'll be covering the destiny board, crafting, how to actually track and the steps involved in tracking, confrontation with the boss and what happens, and then the loot you gain. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe, and check me out twitch.tv slash redloft to see more Albion Online content. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. To start things off, we're going to review the Destiny board. Again, this is on the live test server, so uh, some numbers might be subject to change when this does come out, but this is what you can expect. The tracking system here has its own Destiny board line here on the south side, kind of next to the farming and the gathering. You have Tracker. Um, you know, the game, the base, just like many other things, you just got to kill creatures at T3 plus for 900 fame, and you will be able to start using the tracking kits. And that's when we get down to the season tracker board. You track down the Shadow Panther, Sylvian, Spirit Bear, Werewolf, Hellfire Imp, Runestone Golem, Dawnbird, or Unknown uh, for leveling up the tracker board. So as you level, so as you go and you know, track things and kill them, this will you no know, fill up. So as it does, you will have usable bonuses uh, to be able to use the higher tier things. At every base level for the, you know, the base of this, you will have a plus 0.1 bonus to tracking efficiency when interacting with tracks and a 0.75% bonus chance to engage target with next tracking step. So the higher level you are with your base here on the tracking, so the more you track, the more you will have an efficiency bonus and the greater chance to engage with the target the next tracking step, which means as you are going around interacting with tracking steps and looking for where the boss is, the higher level you are, the more likely it is that there will be the next one you encounter, which means the more tracks you will be able to go through in an hour, so to speak. Additionally, as you level up, you will be able to use higher tier tracking toolkits. We'll talk more about the differences of the tracking toolkits here in a few minutes uh, when we kind of cover crafting with them. But just know as you level up, that is the reward is being able to use the higher tier tracking toolkits. Additionally, with the Destiny board, you then have specializations. Just like if you level up an axe and then you have spec in you no know, Realm Breaker versus Battle Axe, this is the same thing you have spec in your specific tracking of creatures. So you have Dawnbird, you have Runestone Golem, you have Hellfire Imp, Werewolf, Spirit Bear, Sylvian, and Shadow Panther. So as you track down that specific type of mob, these specializations will gain experience and fill up to 100. And all you gotta do is track down the Dawnbird with this fame. When you complete it, you get the fame for tracking it, and this levels up. The bonuses to doing this is you get a 0.1 bonus to tracking efficiency when interacting with tracks, a plus one bonus to track efficiency when interacting with Dombird tracks. So you get the general bonus as well as a higher bonus for those specific tracks. A 0.75% bonus chance to engage target with next tracking step. Again, the general bonus and then a 5% bonus chance to engage Dombird with next tracking step. So that means because there were concerns on other videos that you weren't really getting like the artifacts that you wanted and items that you wanted when tracking that often. The payoff with this is as you specialize, you're going to be able to go through the tracks a lot faster. You're going to get to a point when you're 100 out of 100 with everything that realistically you interact with the initial track and then you will directly go to the boss that you are hunting or maybe one or two, you know, interactions with tracks to find it but it's gonna be much faster you're not gonna be spending as much time running out and you're gonna be able to fly through trackings and kill these bosses a lot more have a lot more boss kills per hour than when you're at lower level so that's a huge thing of note with this the to take care of is when you get into the tracking i highly recommend you figure out what your specialist you want to be is and just focus on tracking that and that alone Additionally, we do have the actual crafting of the tracker toolkits as well in the Destiny board as this is a crafting thing. It is part of the tool maker tree. 
Um, to be able to craft these, as you saw here, uh, it will require, you know, planks and leather. And that would obviously depend on what tier you are doing. So as you craft these, um, you know, you craft the toolkits, you will get bonuses to the cost efficiency. And as you level it, you'll be able to craft the higher tiers of the tracking toolkits. Um, and then obviously a specialization uh, with focus and everything else, just like crafting any other tools, really. Uh, the bonuses and why this matters, though, is so your base, let's say your tier four tracking toolkit, you see you have a 5% tracking fame bonus, a plus 56% tracking efficiency. Additionally, for the look for tracks at tier four, the look for tracks is a 200 meter radius and tracks found will appear to all group members for 20 seconds. Now this is where it increases. For tier five, you'll see the tracking fame bonus efficiency is increased. So it's 5% and plus 56 to 10% plus 61. And that continues. 15% 65, 20% 69, and 30% and 72. Additionally, the actual effect changes. You see here, this is a 225 meter radius and it is shown for 22 seconds from a 200 meter radius in 20 seconds. And that goes all the way up to a 300 meter radius for 30 seconds. So using, you know, crafting this and then using the higher tier toolkits will increase the fame bonus, the efficiency, and the actual look for tracks ability that you do when you use the tracking toolkit. And again, these are crafted all with planks and leather. And so you'll have to you know, start leveling up your crafting to be able to utilize the tracking toolkits, which you will need to do to be able to farm and do the tracking much more efficiently. First things first, now that you have your tracking kit made and know what you want to specialize in, it's time to track. Hop out into the black zone wherever you wish and use the tracking kit. You can use the tracking kit anywhere in the black zone. It does not have to happen in a specific zone or tier or anything like that. When you use the tracking kit, a bubble will pop up on the map showing you the different tracks in that area. These will be shown for, by a symbol of the different types of prey you can track and hunt. If you hover your mouse over them, you'll also see what tier they are and the group size. Take note of the group size, it will either be groups of 1 to 3 or 4 to 8, and depending on which you go on, affects rewards and difficulty. Overall, if you do the group 1 to 3 mob and you match that tier, most solo PvE builds will be able to solo the boss. If you're not in a solo PvE build, I highly recommend having some teammates for it if you are matching the tier of the mob with your gear. Either way, the radius from the tracking kit will hover for some time and you will need to choose which target to track. Once you do, start riding over to the mark on the map as after a bit, depending on the tier of your tracking kit like we mentioned, the map will fade and you will not be able to see where they are anymore. With your chosen prey, go up to its track and interact with it. From there, the hunt begins. You will gain 20 minutes after beginning a hunt to reach the next objective, whether that is finding the next track to follow or beating the boss. Upon finding the next track to follow, the timer resets to 20 for continuing. Your map will indicate where the next tracks are for you to go. These tracks could be in the zone you are in, or in a zone next to where you are at. Either way, you will follow the map to where it leads until you find a bubble on that map. Inside this bubble, the next set of tracks will be somewhere in it. You will not get an indication where in this area it is specifically, so you will have to ride around until you see the indicator to go up and interact with it. From there, you continue this cycle. Interact with the tracks, roam to the next area the tracks could be in, either in the zone you are in or the next zone. Eventually, you will find the prey you are hunting, there will be an area for you to fight in. Each of the prey will have their own stats and fight patterns, which means practice will make perfect in terms of learning what all they do. A lot of this is based off what their corresponding shapeshifter staff can do as well. As you fight the boss, there is a chance that they will flee. If they flee while fighting it, you will have to continue the cycle of tracking them down by finding tracks and moving forward. When you eventually find them again, their health will be at whatever it was before they fled. It will not reset. Finally, take down the boss for potential loot. This loot could involve ingredients for potions, both broad and for specific potions, based off killing specific mobs. If you've hunted the artifact shapeshifter mobs, you could also get the chance of them dropping the items needed to craft those specific shapeshifter weapons. And yeah, that's the tracking system. I hope you find this guide useful for how to hop into the black zone and do these. All my experience with this comes from the testing server, so I look forward to doing this on live and seeing how it feels with dangerous opponents roaming around as well. Either way, I'll catch you next time. Peace out.